the, my most memorable sequence of events was March 18 of 1995, Philadelphia Spectrum. It was the breakout of the Beatles song, All Too Much, at the beginning of the second set. Um, and I, my friend Karen and I um, um, were acquainted with Vince Welnick, the, the late, great Vince Welnick. Um, and we had spent some time with Vince um, um, over the couple of years he was with the band. And he was a wonderful person and an incredible musician. And he doesn't get the credit for what he should have gotten. During intermission, between first and second set, we happened to be in what we call Vince's dressing room, which in the old Philadelphia spectrum, which you know, no longer exists, it was the visitor's locker room. There was maybe 10 or 15 people in there, friends of Vince, um, some people from Israel. There was a little keyboard player that had a copy of the Bible off in the corner, which Vince used to, to um, I guess, exercise his fingers on um, before show. And it was wonderful conversation during the 45 minute intermission. And at one point, Vince told us, we may break out at the beginning of second set all too much, but I won't know until Garcia nods at me. So if you see Garcia nod at him, then you know we're gonna start the second set with that because they had set lists, but they would vary and they would call what we call audibles. Um, so we, um, uh, had partaked in illicit recreational substances during the set break, and um, we got the five-minute notice from uh, um, from their publicist, and so we went back out to our seats, and and Karen and I happened to be uh, in the second row, off to the side on the fill, uh, then fill side of the stage, so that we had a direct view of Vince, who was on a raised tier with his. Um, 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 organ, piano, whatever he had that night. So the band comes out, the lights go down, the crowd's going crazy, and we're, we're sort of, you know, elbowing each other. Is this it? Is this it? Will it happen? And Garcia has his, you know, three packs of non-filtered cigarettes, and he's back at his rack. He comes around to the front, turns around, and nods at Vince. Vince gets this huge smile on his face. We all know what's going on. And they break into the first notes of All Too Much. And, and I have this vivid recollection of seeing the joy on their faces when they broke into that, which then led into what many deadheads believe is one of the top five performances of Ico Ico. So All Too Much into Ico Ico. Uh, and then the, 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 the drums and space out of that, that second set is really a, an amazing show. Um, and, I, and I'm glad to have had a backstage experience to know it was happening and watching how that interaction happened.